Incoming transmission. Hey folks, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek, the official Starships collection issue review. This time we have a special issue featuring the future Enterprise NCC-1701D from All Good Things, otherwise known as the Galaxy X. Today's episode, we will be deep diving into the model itself, checking out what contents lay inside the magazines, and just summing up our thoughts at the end of the video. Big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this over. It gives me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks. And that is solely as a result of your continued support of this series and a channel as a whole as well. Thanks for continually uh, commenting, uh, liking and sharing the videos and uh, subscribing. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters as well for supporting the channel on a monthly basis and for those supporting the channel through the merch store as well where there's some pretty awesome freaking awesome apparel that uh for you for you, the nerds at heart out there as well so uh let's get into the, today's video shall we and check out the future all good things uh enterprise d so we have a big box uh i always liked the enterprise uh the galaxy x i'm gonna call her the galaxy x um enterprise and uh, it was great that it was a subscriber gift early on in the collection as well Woo. and you know what the enterprise d was a lovely um excel uh, version of this ship to boot so this looks like that's going to be the same case over here so uh, let's check out the base and the mount let's throw that over there uh, four one five three a slash a and get her mount in there it looks pretty yeah it's gonna the traditional kind of galaxy mount in there as well so that's going to be coming in right around that point so centrally mounted and uh, let's pick her up by the neck oh she's heavy saucer saucer is full die cast except for the the cap over here and the rest is all plastic so she is front heavy very very nice uh, one thing i'm not seeing is the kind of red pinstriping uh from the get-go it's very like just regular enterprise uh look here but um yeah we'll deep dive into the beast that is uh the all good things galaxy x enterprise shall we so here she is um nice as teching on the ship itself paint apps look quite good uh window alignment is pretty decent to be honest with you for a galaxy um it, yeah you'd, you'd miss the 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 pit the red pinstriping um on the galaxy x there you have your weapons array sensor modules or decals decals are applied very nicely or additional phaser points and uh you get to see the ugh, focus windows uh not great alignment on the paint applications over here well actually it's not too bad ventral section again you have your continued as taking your saucer your deflector deflector is actually quite nice here's your phase cannon or lance depending on how you like to change it i always wished that that was more blended in or the neck may be fattened out or something like that um but anyway that's just more of a design aesthetic not a not anything else you can see the windows just imagine being in the window there you'd be like oh my god bloody star wars type uh weapon of mass destruction so far it's actually quite nice uh nice inserts for the nacelles if you're pinstriping around here which is quite nice and again um some nice pinstriping along the additional third nacelle warp 13 please and again you have your standard phaser banks from the galaxy nav lights are all in there the escape pods are all there transport emitters and again these things generally plague they should be down here not on the roof 
So again, they'd be the biggest alignment issues for the windows. But uh, generally on the most part, the alignment is pretty good. A little bit of wear, just where the model was sitting maybe in the packaging. But you have your Galaxy X in XL form. I'm just like I'm pretty sure just searching back through my archives of my brain that uh the XL Enterprise is equally as heavy because it's such a big saucer section and again that's what's the die cast component here and then this is a cap this will pop off and you'd have like your fixing points on here but she's nice again you have your pinstriping on your triple nacelle configuration um I would have liked to have seen the, the pinstriping along the phaser banks also. But uh, let's compare to the regular version of the Galaxy. Again, I would have liked to have seen plastic inserts for the nacelles. But um, let's compare it to the regular one, and but um, put, put her on the stand as well. And uh, we'll check out what she looks like there too. So there we have the All Good Things Enterprise on the stand. Um, sits very very snugly in there just like all the pre-seeding um enterprises to be honest with you um you have the regular version down here so there is pretty substantial um increase in size between the two of them overall they're very very similar slight tonal change between them and um again like when you're looking at the transporter emitters they're a lot uh, softer on the XL version, but again, we're missing uh, the pinstriping on the smaller version and we're missing the pinstriping along the nacelles over here. So there have been um, paint application improvements for the XL version, but uh, not to kind of harp on too much, we are missing um, the pinstriping around the main phaser banks on the saucer section. But um, very nice model. And uh, just, again, I, models like these are great to have in the collection because even though this was kind of fleeting in Star Trek, uh, it was during an episode that was fundamental in Star Trek as well, the end of series, and uh, again, the alternate reality of um, Starfleet. And we all know the fate, uh, the fate of uh, the galaxy from um, that happened in Generations as well, but who knows what could have been and again this is one variant of uh, what could have been and uh maybe they there would have been a, a d um kind of revision a d refit um if things kept going the way they're going but listen i'm all about the sovereign as well at the same time but uh she's a very nice model and uh, i'm very glad to have her in the collection very curious to know what you folks think at home uh, so let me know in the comments below so here we have the magazine for the special variant of uh, the future USS Enterprise NCC-1701D from All Good Things. Galaxy Class, 641 meters, uh, anti-time future reality, and top speed of 13 plus, warp 13 plus. Uh, so we have three sections, profile of the future ship, making of All Good Things, and designing the ship itself. So. Um, what's nice about this is that we have the magazine because uh, the regular version, I'm hitting my camera here, was a subscriber gift uh, from very, very long ago. So um, nice to have a big kind of chunky monkey version of this. So we have our mounting instructions, uh, Utopia Planitia Yards, um, 2390s Alternative Reality, Dex 42, Crew 1012, Warp 13 Sustained. And uh, it was commanded by Admiral Riker. So I know a lot of people don't like this hip. I actually do. I, I do like it. But um, I, I definitely get why people may not uh, overly like this ship. So uh, Admiral Riker was the only member of Picard's senior staff who was still serving on the Enterprise, which had become its flagship. Uh, in this version of the 2390s, relations between the Federation and the Klingon Empire had broken down and the Enterprise had been refitted for combat with massive phasers and cloaking devices. No longer uh, at the flagship for like luxury. Um, it needed to uh, 
up itself to uh, fend off the, the, the Klingon threat for sure. So three nacelles, we have our uh, kind of go faster pylons down here as well, our massive lance, our phaser cannon over here, uh, weapon arrays, all the traditional uh, phaser banks in there. And again, additional phaser banks uh, on top of uh, the nacelles as well. So she was definitely a bit more toothy in this variant as well. So coming to an end, Star Trek The Next Generation's last episode is one of its best, definitely. Uh, a story that took Picard back to the beginning and tied uh, everything together. M like an amazing masterpiece uh, in uh, bookending uh, a series. And uh, just, again, opening with... Uh, well, yeah, it would be... Yeah, like just having Q kind of uh, complete the judgment of uh, humanity uh, and to kind of bring him into the, the ending office uh, to partner up with Picard as well. And again, seeing the, the early versions of uh, Picard kind of going through um, his, his kind of timeline as well. Just so, so good. Um, Captain Picard beside a retired uh, Picard as well. So Captain Beverly. And I guess you get a beautiful ship as well, the Pegasus. So uh, here we have some of uh, the key, some key scenes from the best of both worlds as well. The Enterprise in action as it's coming up under a Negvar class Klingon ship. And uh, yeah, again, fantastic to be honest with you. The final ships. Since all good things showed us the future uh it was inevitable that the ship would uh need an upgrade as well so again practical model here we have uh the ship itself and again the triple nacelle beastie that is the galaxy x the pegasus we mentioned that earlier as well i really like uh that um for the medical ship the negvar uh, class uh klingon attack cruiser as well uh, i think a good design never Never grew on me, but you know, it was nice to see like the Galaxy and the Negvar, uh, not the Negvar, the, the Vorcha were always two good companion ships as well. But again, the the, the Vorcha was never going to be the, the the Chancellor ship really kind of moving forward. So having this massive Negvar uh, warship was really, really cool. Um, and again, to see that in D Space Nine as well was really cool, also. Um, so that's it for the magazine for the uh, All Good Things Enterprise. Let's close out the back graphic and move on with the video, shall we? So folks, that wraps up today's video featuring the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D from All Good Things, or the Galaxy X as some like to call it. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, the model review and the magazine uh, read-through. Um, Leave any thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Um, thanks for your support as always and checking out the video. And uh, thanks again to Hero Collector for supporting the channel as well. Um, if you liked what you saw, why not share the video with a kindred spirit in your life and uh, maybe hit that subscribe button. And um, again, do check out uh, the merch store and Patreon page as well if you wanna support the channel in other ways too. Um, any and all support is greatly appreciated. You folks are absolute legends in your own right. Um, and again, simple thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Plenty more coming, so uh, stand by and uh, plenty more uh, new collections coming our way as well. So uh, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Have a great rest of the day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.